Hey guys, Hi. I'm here with Lily from Kale and Caramel. Hi. So happy to have her in the house. And we're making a vegan raspberry mousse with pistachio shortbread cookies. So excited. I am very excited because I love coconut cream and this has coconut cream in it. Yeah, and I kind of knew that and so I was like, hey John, mm -hmm. how about some coconut cream mousse? She knew. I knew. <laughs> she knew the weight of my heart is coconut yep. and what else? Coconuts, uh, anything creamy, right? And papaya. Papaya. You know I love papaya too. Oh my too. gosh, I love papaya. You're Can making me miss, <laughs> I'm from Hawaii and now I miss home. I know, I miss Hawaii too, but I'm not from there. It's okay, you can also miss it, it's allowed. Thank you. Yeah. So the first step is we're gonna, what, cut some pistachios up? Yeah, I think we're gonna make the shortbread, get it okay. in the oven. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be a speed demon about this, because literally your fingernails are like butter to it. I'm hiding them. <laughs> From you. I'm hiding my hands from you. You could also do this in a food processor if you wanted to as well. I kind of like the different different sizes you get the from texture, hand shopping. It gives yeah. you some more time. I'm all about texture. Especially in a shortbread cookie, you get that like really crumbly, right. nice, like buttery mm -hmm. denseness. That's in this like the case, best part. From coconut oil. So this is a cup and a tablespoon of delicious coconut oil. Yeah, it's raw virgin coconut oil. So then we're gonna put this into our bowl. Let's mix. give it a little mix and then... Let's see where it's at. We'll see where it's at. It's pretty smooth, but we wanna avoid having too many clumps. I'm just gonna sift this in here. <laughs> you I'll, dump it I'll off. Vanna White your powdered sugar. Mm, thank you. All right. So let's give this a mix for like, until it's creamed up, so until speed it up. Yeah, totally creamed. Zip. Okay, nice and snowy white, and Perfect. now what? So now we are going to whisk together our dry ingredients. Okay. <laughs> Two cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of all-purpose flour, a fourth teaspoon of cardamom, a half teaspoon of sea salt, and we're just gonna whisk that together. So you just wanna make sure there aren't any clumps of the spices left as you whisk your ingredients, right. dry ingredients together. I can tell based on your whisking that you're not a Virgo. <laughs> I am a Virgo. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. Never mind, Never mind. I should have said I could tell because Are you, you were doing it. I am. I'm like a triple Virgo. That's so funny. Actually, I'm a double Virgo with something else rising. Wait, why Why did you think I was not a Virgo? I don't know. You were whisking, you were doing like a fair whisking, but it just seemed like it wasn't a really, um, Systematic whisk. What's interesting is, which I feel like is the flip side of the coin of Virgo ness, uh -huh. is I was concerned about uh, making a mess. mess. <laughs> it was like on the low yeah. side. It's like a medium small yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, back to this. So I'm gonna scrape that bowl down. It smells delicious. And then, here, let me hold this for you. Thank you. You're welcome. This is like such a tender cookie, I love it. Yes. I feel the love already. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky. At a certain point, because we don't want to overwork the flour, right. um, I would actually suggest either dumping it out okay. and starting to knead it, or just truly getting your hands in there. Because what's gonna happen is the um, coconut oil is gonna respond to the warmth of our hands. Right. And um, that's good. We want it to soften up a little bit and absorb a little bit more of the dry ingredients. Oh, I love this. I love the texture. Do you? Yeah, I really okay. like being tactile in the kitchen, to yeah. be honest, because you don't get to do that in real Absolutely. life. Absolutely. It's like a moment of reflection. Yes. It's kind of meditative, the, and you're really focusing on one thing. The, the kale and caramel tagline is food for all five senses. Mm, I love that. Yes. Lily has an amazing cookbook, which has like the most beautiful photography, by the way. And um, Thank also you. delicious recipes. We're adding in a quarter of a cup of chopped pistachios. Beautiful color. Get my hands in here. Yeah, you get your hands in there now. Oh, it feels so good. I know. It feels it's, amazing. It's really pleasant. Yeah. So this will be your tactile therapy for the day. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I just um, tasted the dough. I eat raw dough all the time. Yeah, and this you don't have to worry about at all. I don't worry about How's anything. How's it taste? Great. Oh, it smells so good. It really does. All right, so this can essentially just get formed into a nice disc. Uh, we're going to bring it together, wrap it in plastic wrap, or maybe like a half inch disc about. Do you want to give it like a little roll? roll? It out. Mm -hmm. 
and then let your rolling pin do some of the remainder of the work for you. I love the colors. So pretty. It's really pretty. It's really pretty, Lily. Yay. We chilled our dough for like 10 minutes. Now it's just the right consistency, not too hard, not too soft. Yeah, super like dense but pliant. Mm, I love that. So we're gonna just roll it out a little bit. And I just used another sheet of parchment paper so love it doesn't trick. stick. Genius. You could use plastic too, that works. And then we are going to cut uh, our cookies into three different size circles, which we are doing because we are feeling fanciful and whimsical, but you could choose any size you like. Yeah, we're generally whimsical, so yes. this is how it is. Into the oven at 325 for? For about 10 minutes, I about think. About 10. It totally depends on your cookie size though. So yes. tiny cookies will cook up quick, Big ones take a minute, just watch them. You don't want them to singe. Yes, we're gonna keep our eyes on these. Eyes peeled. Eyes peeled. Okay, so we're gonna make a raspberry reduction to flavor our mousse. First step though, we're gonna zest a lemon. We're not gonna use all the zest in the reduction, but let's just have it for later. Yeah, we'll use it in a few different places. Yeah, lemon zest done. Now we have our little hot plate. Perfect. And I'm just gonna toss in one container of raspberries. Great. It's already on some heat and... A couple of tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Pinch of lemon zest. Sounds good to me. And maybe just a couple drops of water just to start yeah. it off. Raspberries give you such a beautiful natural color too. It's yeah. amazing. It's been a couple seconds and this is a reduced, beautiful, beautiful color and the consistency is a little bit thicker as well. It smells amazing. So we're just gonna strain that. Ooh. Try not to burn you. It's trying to burn me over here, right. folks. And we're gonna pop this into the freezer to chill just so Perfect. it gets nice and cool and doesn't melt our mousse. Yeah, we don't want any melted mousse around nope. here. Okay. So, Lily's gonna break down the coconut cream for me. Yes, so we've got two cans here of coconut cream. Okay. They've been refrigerated and they've been refrigerated upside down. This is, why is this important? Because the fatty cream uh -huh. is going to rise to the top. I see. So, when we open them, the liquidy part, any liquidy part will be on the top and we can easily just pour it off instead of having to like scoop, try to scoop out the cream and then hitting the liquid after. God, it makes so much sense. Because it, you don't want the liquid, you want that yes, cream. you just want the cream. So this allows the cream to rise and yeah, you get the idea. It looks like it's rocks. It's gonna whip up into a beautiful mix. Yes it is. And one quarter cup of confectioner sugar. Perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna pour in, you can kinda, I don't know, it's like however much vanilla you want, right? I'm gonna say about half a teaspoon. How much zest? Um, a teaspoon or so, one to two teaspoons. Again, you can sort of choose your pick. Um, that's good. Let's give it a whisk. I'm gonna lock this lock in low and then kind of come up a bit, right? Perfect, yeah. Depending on the quality of the coconut cream that you're using, um, Look at how nice that stands up, and it's already in like yeah. sort of a mousse texture, you know, mm -hmm. which is lovely. Um, you don't want to add too much liquid to it, water, because as we just saw, the water will actually right. separate from. So we're gonna just keep the raspberry that we add to the bare minimum, whatever we need just for the color. That's a good tip. Yeah. Now we're gonna start adding our raspberry reduction yes. while this is whipping up. That looks Beautiful. Nice. That's a good color. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Lovely. So we'll throw it into the fridge. You don't want to, you know, keep it in too long because right. otherwise you'll get it back to that hardened state that we had before. Um, but a nice 10 minute chill, right. 15 minute, because 20 minute, you're, we'll be fine. When you're agitating it with the whisk, you're applying kinetic energy. Yes. Which uh, is exchanged as heat. Yes. Into the fridge. Perfect. We're so close to being in our assembly mode, but the last step yes. is to mash up some of the raspberries. Yeah, so we've got about nine ounces of raspberries here, so it's a clamshell plus another half. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of honey in, drizzle that on them, it's so pretty. And then mash it up with a fork. Really simple. Maybe add a little vanilla. Oh yeah? That might be nice. Okay. So this is rose water, tell me one. Perfect. More? A little more. Great. Okay. Piping some raspberry mousse in there. Adding in some pistachios, beautiful raspberries. And then let's put in some more mousse. Cookie crumble? 
I will crumble a cookie for you. Thank you. This would actually be really fun for a party, by the way, too. Totally. Like an old dessert station yes. set up. Oh my god, it's time to try these out. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have no idea how this is taste. Amazing, I hope. Do I eat, just eat this whole <laughs> cookie right on the top? And Maybe then eat around the, the cookie. It's more okay. for the camera. Okay. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm. I'm happy with all of our choices. All those textures? So good, right? Amazing. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and check out Lily. She has the best Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everything. I'm gonna have a link in the description. You're so kind, yes, Kale and Caramel. Kale and Caramel, and also the cookies are adapted from her cookbook. Yes, which we can show you. Yeah. Here it is. Kale and Caramel. Kale and Caramel Recipes for Body, Heart, and Table. It's a good book.